Hey guys, Get Level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to record and live stream your games with the Oculus Rift S and OBS Studio. So yeah, I recently acquired a Oculus Rift S because it's the cheapest option. It's the cheapest and also the best option for the price. That's why I got it. You guys know I'm, I'm cheap. I'm going to show you the unboxing, but this is not an unboxing video. I'm not going to give you the specs. You can just read the product description or just watch another YouTuber who has who can compare multiple headsets. This is my first ever VR headset. So to me, it's perfect. I'm basically discovering this technology. So if you're hesitating between the Rift S, the Oculus Quest or the, the Vive or the Vive Index, like I'm not the guy to ask about that okay the rift s is great it comes with the the headset and then two controllers and that's pretty much it the cable is already on the headset there's nothing else so the, the boxes i really love <laughs> i really love this because i thought it was going to be complicated there would be a bunch of cables and adapters and no, there's nothing. There's literally one cable that's already in the headset. Uh, you do have a little adapter. I think it's from DisplayPort to micro HDMI or something like that. Look it up. Okay, 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 okay. Quick break before I tell you how to get your footage into OBS. If you're looking for Christmas overlays, Christmas is coming. I have a bunch of cool Christmas overlays for your Twitch channel, for your Mixer channel, wherever you live stream, basically. Check them out. They're on gumroad.com slash level right now. They're very, very cheap. And one of them is actually free. There's three different overlay packs specifically made for the holidays back to this so let's say your headset is working everything is working fine but you want a monitor you want a mirror basically you want a program that actually shows everything because right off the bat unless you're playing you're actively inside of a game it won't show everything so what you want to do is find wherever you installed the oculus software okay in my case it's in drive e so drive e oculus then you're going to click support then you're going to click oculus diagnostics double click that and you'll find something called Oculus Mirror. Now, if you're a live streamer or you intend on live streaming or recording your games regularly with the Oculus, what you need to do is create a shortcut to this. You can pin it to your to your start. I believe I have it right there. OK, you're going to double click it. Okay, So right now it's not displaying anything because I don't have the headset on. OK, let me just put the headset on real quick. OK, there we go. And uh, there we go. And as you can see, it actually shows Whatever I see in the headset, I'm currently out of boundary, so it's probably gonna, yeah, it's showing me my apartment a little bit. So I'm just gonna turn off, but here's what you need to do inside of OBS. I'm gonna show you how to add it as is right now, because right now it's not 1080p. It's like a lower resolution in order to not uh, tax your computer too much. So inside of OBS, I'm sorry, this is a weird effect. So inside of OBS, you would add a new source. You can click the plus here. You can right click and go to add. And that source would be a window capture. So let's go window capture. And then you need to find the Oculus mirror screen. And there you go. I think my computer really doesn't like the fact that I am um, recording this. <laughs> All right, I'm taking it off. Now, as I said, by default, the quality is not 100%. I don't even know if my computer can allow it to be 100%, but there's a little trick you can do. Okay, now in order to run that Oculus mirror, and full size 1080p basically you need to add this com uh, command line at the end of the execution process basically okay so let's create that shortcut that i told you about on the oculus mirror because we need that in order to launch it in 1080p so we can do send to desktop create shortcut and then here from the desktop we just need to find it here it is we're gonna right click click properties and then here at the end of the target line we need to add our little text I'm going to add a space in between those and click apply. OK, so there's an actual space in between the actual target and then the command that we just added. Click OK. All right. So now when we launch this, this shortcut should be 1080p. And as you can see, it fills my screen, so it is 1080p. Now, in my particular case, I already had it to basically fit the whole screen, even though it was small. So I'm going to go to transform and then click fit to screen again. Right. I'm going to make it visible. So the whole screen is going to be black and then I'm going to put on the headset and see what happens. And here we are. And that is so far. And that's it. This is how easily you can actually record your VR gameplay or applications or anything that you're doing basically can be visible through the Oculus mirror. Now, there are some other alternatives I've seen. That's what happens when you're wearing a VR headset. Uh, there are some other alternatives with Steam VR where you can 
actually pull up a, a, a another mirror from Steam VR. But I feel like using the Oculus mirror is the best way to go. At least for now. If you would like to see how to do it with Steam VR, probably if you own if you own an HTC Vive, that might be useful. So just leave, leave it in the comment section below. As I said before, I am a new VR headset owner, so I'm learning stuff and I might do more tutorials as I learn stuff. The next step for me is to set up a camera for when I'm streaming VR and also maybe play around with the scenes and the sources for the microphones and all of that. So I might I might make more videos about that. Let me know if that's something that isn't that's interesting for you. I know not a lot of you own a VR headset. Oh, I might be wrong. I might be completely wrong. Also, for the people who already own a VR headset, let me know which games you guys play because I'm looking for games to play. All of that in a comment section below. Uh, don't forget if you want holiday theme overlays, go to gumroad.com slash get level. There's also non holiday themes <laughs> overlays over there. And um, and make sure you check out all the links in the descriptions because I have links to everything my camera my audio all of that okay thank you guys so 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 much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i will see you guys next time go out there make me proud get level out <laughs>